Welcome back to the heavily requested Far Cry 4 gameplay. This is what I recorded in Paris. And this is pretty much what I have left in terms of gameplay. So this is like free roam stuff. Doing some outposts. There's 24 outposts in the game. And this is one of them. So you see some piggies on the left. We're getting a little bit agitated. They can, they can hear the dog or something. I'm not sure. But they're like making some really loud squealy sounds. Quite distressed piggies. Probably because there's a random pig being hanged up and killed in front of them. Which is a bit dramatic. But anyway... These are the soldiers, we can tag the enemies with the camera. Get a camera out, we can tag them and know exactly where they are. And there's three guys, I can see three guys here. I'm going to shoot this guy with my silence of scorpion. I shot him once, but he's got like, so much freaking armor on his face, he literally just ignored it. So, that didn't go to plan. So now we've got literally, oh, Monotov. Oh, he burned, he burned, he burned. He burned like hell. Oh, yeah, he's definitely burned. <laughs> see, that, see that floating pig there that's been like, Ready for a meal later, I don't know, but um, they're about to call for backup. I think they have to call for backup already. This is reinforcements are coming very, very soon. So, we've got to try and kill the rest of these guys and then try and get some sort of look at that shooting skill. Finally, Jesus, no scope. Why not? Right, so this is what's this? That's where we've got to get to. I guess what we've done is like a waypoint, so we arrived, but the backup is coming. I try and stop the alarm because they're, they're coming. I'm like, oh, they're coming, stop the alarm or something, but. Unfortunately, they are coming through in their in their droves. A lot of a lot of enemies are coming. There's some good guys coming to help us out as well. The blue guys. Oh, oh you just hit me over! Just you just punched me. Jesus Christ! Getting my scorpion back out, which I got actually called a Uzi in one of my episodes. I do apologise. It looks like a Uzi, and it functions like a Uzi, so I go with it. Um, all right in the face. Stab him! Stab! Oh, he hit me again. He just hit me. Outright just hit me. As you can tell, I'm pretty much still a noob, I guess. I'm still learning the basics of this game when I was playing this. Uh, but I do feel ready when the game comes out. I'll be ready for the ready for full, fully fledged combat. Should be nice and fun. Oh. Ooh. They're, they're like... What? They're matches he put into his skin. He had like a set of matches and just like... Ouch. That looked painful. The healing is always a bit, a bit graphic. And I killed him. And that's the outpost done. Not bad. Oh, outpost liberated. I've done four already. This is the fourth one. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty, pretty graphics. Pretty awesome. So, I have to admit, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing the PC version. I keep saying this, but... Oh, now we skip forward to another outpost. Ooh. Yeah, I did actually lose quite a lot of gameplay, so some of the bits I would love to have shown you just got deleted. I don't know why. It's like the first... Um, the first, like, three hours of gameplay I just lost... Just slightly annoying. Oh, got one dude. Silencer. So you get, also you get more bonus points, more XP. Uh, you get headshots and stuff, which is good. I just lost my voice there. Oh, so there's one guy there. I'm trying to take him out. Shh, don't make any sound, guys. Oh, you see me? He saw me. There's an arrow behind me. What the? F oh my god, it's a freaking tiger. It's a tiger. I think that game, that guy might have saw me. Oh my god, the tiger's trying to eat me. Oh my god. I just, oh my god. That's the, oh, just slightly, what the hell? He's still alive though. Oh my god, this is not going well. <laughs> Terrible doing these outposts. Ow, she just hit me on the way out. Charming. Life is so low. Heal! Heal yourself! Press, that's it, hold triangle, it should. Yeah, I had a syringe, so that was good. Syringes give you like full health. One, one press of the triangle button, full health, which is very nice. That tiger is still going crazy, it's still alive. It's taking the bullets like a freaking bullet sponge. Like the strongest tiger ever. It would die in a couple of hits, surely. Like, I mean, in real life. Tigers would die, die like that. And it's like, boop. Couple of shots in the head. Dead outright. Nope, not in this game. So many enemies in this outpost. So just keep coming as well. Reinforcements obviously arriving as well. From the, um, from the east. I guess, yeah. From the east. In, in some way. Um, so as been announced, uh, Far Cry is going to have a season pass. And this season pass will have online multiplayer, so PvP, but you have to pay for it on the season pass, otherwise you don't get it. So you got to pay for multiplayer, which is a bit odd, if I'm honest. It's a little bit weird, but I guess it is extra content. They don't, they don't, they don't sell it. They're not selling this game as a multiplayer game. It's like you've got co-op and single player, and that's it. So I don't mind too much. It, it makes sense. I guess if they can spend more time on single player, improving the single player, doing better co-op. Um, that's that was my third one I done. So this was that's the one before I done 
the first one, which is weird. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a little bit odd, but I don't see any problem. As long as they can, if they can focus on single player stuff and co-op and make those better, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm very happy. Whew. Right, so now we're going to go and... I'm not sure what we're going to do. Search this guy, this dead guy. See what he's got to fit on him. Anything good? Not... I don't have a clue what that is. No idea. So we get like... um. This is the outpost we've just taken over. Oh. Oh, elephant! Now jump on the elephant. I said, you just don't move elephant. I'm going to ride you like a beast. I would never do that in a million years. Walk up to a wild elephant and just jump on it. It's just, it's just not my thing at all. I want to see what this guy would say. Like, oh, <laughs> just bashed it. He's like, what the fuck is this? Anyway, we're going to transport forward. This is a bit, little bit of customization you're going to see. So this is, you can go to like the trade areas, um, buy new weapons, customize weapons, and stuff like that. So you get money for doing missions, side stuff. Um, I changed my gun to like, what's this gun? Um, STG90. So you can add like different barrels on, you can add different sight on, uh, you can add like an extra mag on, extended mag even, sorry. You can change the paint, there's loads of different paints, there's like, there's, it must be about, I think about 50 paints, something like that, there's an absolutely crazy amount of paints, which is very, very nice, I like that a lot. So if I sound a little bit congested, because I am a little bit, I've got a slight cold, but um, it's that time of the year, isn't it? When, when everyone gets freaking cold. Now we're going to a race, a quad bike race. Oh yes, a quad bike race with chickens. People cheer me on. Two people cheer me on. It's like a proper race. So the target to get gold is one minute and five seconds. Go for the checkpoint. Chickens. Oh, ouch. Oh, I heard it again. Human being. Oh my god. He's <laughs> just like casually crossing the road. This is like a random freaking crazy quad bike rider. So the driving this game is slightly weird. You have to use the D-pad, not D-pad, sorry. You have to use the analog sticks to accelerate and brake and steer, which feels slightly weird. It's not the most accurate thing in the world. Almost missed that one. Ooh, a bit of a dodgy period there. That probably cost me the gold, to be honest. Yeah, I've ruined it already. I get a silver, but we do do it. But yeah, like I said, we need to. We're, we're pretty close though. Through next checkpoint, these random blue circle things, <laughs> which is very cool. I just want to see this game on PC like so badly with like a nice graphics card, full HD, gloriness, and just I just want to see it in, on the PC. It's going to look so good. Obviously, you have to have a pretty good rig to probably play it on like the ultra settings, but I'm excited. Well, people are still cheering me on. That's the finish line. The red is the finish line. Can we make it? One, four, five. Gone just over five. My God, how close is that? God, that, that always happens to me in games. Like I get that literally smidgens it's like barely nothing i reckon that one little mistake back there cost me it sucks so this is some of the perks you can add or skills what you're going to call it so some of them require like you do main missions some require you to do outposts and stuff side missions they're not all unlocked straight away um obviously you get like um i think it's for every like level up you get like a new new skill point like a new but i think some skill points cost more if that makes any sense so some some skill points must might cost two skill points um yes yeah, so obviously the, the further they go up the there's like more extreme ones so it's like the fourth one is always, always the more expensive one which is interesting so this is a side mission this is um helping out this this fashion easter dude who likes to um kill animals for fashion yeah not to get keen i would if i was if i saw this guy i'd probably out kill him but that's, that's what he wants in this of the game, so I don't worry about it too much. But he he loves he wants me to kill animals, get their skins and stuff, and make unique fashion stuff. And we might, oh, hello, random enemies just walking up a hill. Hello, <laughs> just almost run them over. Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt. My head just pounded a rock. Oh, I'm still gonna shot. It's getting a little, bit, a little bit frisky. Oh, he's shooting me. Jesus Christ! This is a random house on a cliff. A bit secretive. But these guys are still coming up towards me. They've seen where I've gone. Take out this stupid poster. I'm gonna try and hang around here for a second. See what happens. Oh, they've seen me. I was trying to try. I was gonna try and climb up there, but it wasn't possible. There's one guy. Coming. There's a charge of guy running towards me with a knife. Ouch! It's, what the hell? It's a freaking leopard. Is that a leopard? I don't know. Whatever. Or a mountain lion. Or I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's one guy here, but he's not moving. So I thought, grenade. Try and plug him out. Boom! There we go. Perfect. Exploded him. <laughs> he's, he's probably dead. 
So first travel, I can't show any cutscenes, so I had to cut that bit out. So it was a nice little cutscene with this stupid twat wanting me to go and kill animals. Um, I'm fine with killing animals in the game, but killing animals for fashion in, in the real world, I do not approve of, in, of any in any way. There's no point. Right, so this is just, again, this is more free roam. This is my scorpion, which I was slightly obsessed with. It's quite a lot of fun to use. Uh, it's probably one of the best. You can have like a, a pistol, so like a one-handed weapon slot. You can then unlock more slots available, but then obviously you have like rocket launchers, machine guns. But this, but this slot is devoted to one-handed weapons like pistols, magnums, scorpions, uzis and stuff. There's my silent sniper, looking very beastly. The sniper is an add-on, so I have to buy it separately using my wonderful monies. This is a random house. Not really sure what this is. I think this might be kind of a race or something. Just a random place we can find. But the map, like I've said before, is in. It's just so big. I was about to say. About, I was about to say insane there, but someone said I shouldn't say that. Um, so we'll ignore that. But yeah, this the map is massive. It's really, really big. It's one of the biggest maps I think I've ever seen in gaming. It's just stupidly big. Um, but I can't say that either. God damn it, you people! I'm just. I'm just trying to express how big the map is. It's big. Uh, but yeah, uh, now set another waypoint. I'm going somewhere else. As <laughs> I hit a wall. The quad bike is a lot of fun. For sure, it's definitely one of the best ways to get around. Um, I don't really understand what the auto drive was until sort of afterwards. Um, it's basically like a self driving thing, so it goes straight and you can just steer, but I didn't use it much to be honest. But you can get a sort of gist of what the world looks like. We're gonna travel forward again. Oh, something's going I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Apologies, I should cut this bit out. Back in the quad back again. We're not we're just gonna keep going. Um, see, what's, see what's going on. She's look at the distance, look at the mountains. Look at the outposts on fire and stuff. Fortress. This is one of the fortresses, by the way. This is the one I think we may... I may have done on co on my cart video with Jack Frax. So go and check that out. We actually do this. Um, it does suggest to do these these massive forts on like a cart mode. So that's up to you, though. If you fancy a challenge, do it by yourself. Why not? Um, you can go up the left there. Through the front entrance. Whatever you fancy. So you can take different approaches. But you may have seen... Um, a lot of full gameplay like early on at uh, E3 and stuff, so you've probably seen it before. I don't know. But yeah, that pretty much concludes the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed it as I crash into the water. <laughs> that was painful. Uh, oops! Yeah, I'm not the most natural driver in this game, but I'm really looking forward to the full game. I'm tempted to do a full sort of Let's Play walkthrough thingy on YouTube's. Um, so I really like this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm probably playing on PC. Probably play with a mouse, I guess. Or. Oh, or a controller. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I'm more of an. I like. I like the controller. I don't know why. It just, it just comes more natural to me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of more Far Cry free roaming stuff. I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you watched all the way to the end. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye.